Mega School of the Knights, a very good team here at home. Barry Trotz talked about it, but they're now 11-3-1 on home ice. They hadn't played here in a couple of weeks. The crowd was ramped up off the start. The Islanders weathered the storm. A lot of that was Thomas Grice early, and then they got two goals in the last minute and a half of the period. Yeah, and I mean, talk about, you know, getting getting into the second period on the right note. The Islanders were able to do that with Matt Barzell. Starts with a good face-off win, and then the timing's perfect as Barzell zips that shot, and then there's a big wide opening, parting of the sea. Anthony Bavilia had a lot to do with that because he blocked out his his guy. So the Islanders have that one nothing thing, one nothing later, and it looks like okay, we're happy to go into the dressing room. But a tremendous play by Brock Nelson pulls the puck in tight to his body, and then that great release. And now the Islanders are going into the second period with a two nothing lead, and they're saying, okay, well, you know what? Now we can maybe we can get our legs, maybe we can get feeling good about ourselves and find a way to win a hockey game. Two goals in a minute, Nate for the New York Islanders. Barzell gets his fifth. Nelson gets his 12th, tying Anders Lee for the team lead. He scored in the last two games, uh, first in Arizona and now here tonight in Vegas. So the Islanders up 2-0 at the start of the second period. They would surrender a power play goal in which they had killed the majority of the penalty. Brandon Peary nets one. The Islanders would give up the game tying goal, but they would benefit from a call on offside challenge that would take that goal off the board. So you get into the third period, still up 2-1. They were on their heels. And then the hit against Boyd Chuck created a four-on-four, four, and that's where the game went south. Well, that really was the uh, the turning point because the Islanders you know, sort of had sustained, the, you know, had got by the the, the pressure, and and with a two-one lead, everything was all pretty good. But that that's just a tremendous shot by by Carlson. He has a wicked wrist shot. I mean, not a lot of people talk about talk about his skating. I'm not sure Thomas Grace was ready for that because he did shoot it between the legs and then a quick turnaround. Islanders' confusion, Barry talked about that. It just wasn't very good on a four and four. I mean, it's a man each, and that, that's about talking on the ice and saying, I got him, I got him, and there was some confusion, and that's really all it took for the uh, Vegas team to come away with a win. 14th goal of the season for William Carlson. You see his hot streak nine in the last 13. Paul Stastny just four games back into the lineup for Vegas, and now picks up two goals and an assist in those four games with a goal here today. And so the New York Islanders drop this one. They're now 2-1 and one on this road trip, and it makes that game in Dallas awfully important because the difference between a disappointing 2-2 two and two road trip and a successful 3-1 and one trip hangs in that game. Well, when you win the first two, Brendan, you're thinking, okay, you know, worst-case scenario, we're going to get a split. I mean, we're going into Vegas. That is not going to be easy. We're going into Dallas. That, generally speaking, is not going to be easy. But if you can go through a four-game swing and be 3-1, and one, you're, you're, you're pretty happy with the whole scenario. So they have an opportunity. They're, they're going to have a couple days off. They're going to catch Dallas in a, in a, in a tough situation where they're going to play three games in four nights. They're going to play the night before on the road. So really, they might catch them with their legs being just a little bit off. So yes, it's, a, it's an opportunity for the Islanders, if they play their game, and, and which we've seen on this road trip, to come away with two. And then I think you're pretty happy going home for Christmas.